today we're gonna do a couple small projects. Uh, Tracy is working on the rear view mirror. Uh, she's cleaning that up. It was pretty well rusted and um, ready to fall off the FC. So we took it off and she's actually taking all the rust off. Uh, she's wire wheeling it. We're gonna do uh, just a surface makeover on that. We're gonna try to get it down. She's gonna try to get it down to bare metal and then we're gonna probably treat it. Uh, and the other project we're gonna do today is the tailgate. So like I said in the last video, um, I'm gonna try to keep the patina on the truck. That's the decision I decided to go with it. Uh, but I'm gonna experiment with it. I'm gonna try to give it one solid color, but keep the rust and keep the patina to it. Like I wanna really keep the logos. What I'm figuring is if I do wanna make it, you know, more, uh, let's say more perfect or uh, take all the defects out of it, I can always do that, but I can never get the patina back one, once it's gone. So going along with that, I'm going to keep a lot of these rust holes here, um, but I want to have good integrity to the, uh, to the tailgate. So I am going to replace this lower pot here. I have some heavier gauge metal uh, that I'm going to use that's already kind of rusted. That's from an old oil tank. So I'm gonna use that to reinforce the bottom of this. And what I'm gonna also do to connect the two pins that hold the tailgate on, it's basically like a hinge area. I'm going to join those together with this piece of steel pipe. I'm gonna make a junction between them both. And I'm gonna tie that into the middle member of the tailgate, this middle structural member. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is cut this off right here where that line is and tack weld it to this pipe and also weld uh, the end of these pipes to the hinge pins. So I'm going to get started on that now.
So I got this bar cut, this piece of pipe, and what I'm gonna do is weld it uh, right there, in the middle, and on that side. And then what I'm gonna do, I don't know if you can see those pencil lines, I'm gonna cut out two diagonal points right there. And what I'm gonna do is flip this over and use that metal as a gusset just to tie everything together. I'm not 100% confident where this is gonna attach here that that's gonna be strong enough. So on the back side of this, where it's a little less visible, I'm going to weld that gusset within those triangle marks there. And I'm gonna tie it into this pipe. I'm gonna roll it right around the bottom of the pipe. And what that's gonna do is just structurally make that all strong. Got that pretty structurally sound at this point now. Uh, the pipe is welded going across there. I attach this middle member to here. I'm gonna leave the welds uh, kind of rough right now, uh, just so it kind of looks along the line of the whole patina of the whole thing. I'm just gonna leave it like it is and let it age for a while. Uh, what I also did was put a reinforcing plate on the back. I used that old oil tank material and just made it so everything is attached together. The front member of this back patch and the pipe. So everything in the center now is pretty structurally sound. Uh, right down to the hinge, hinge pins to there. The outer members are pretty solid, so I'm not worried about that. The pipe going across looks good. So structurally, this is pretty sound right now. I don't feel like it'll fall apart as I'm driving. So I'm gonna leave it like it is for this, at this point, I'm gonna let it age a little bit. Um, the new welds and stuff like that kind of rust up a little bit. And then I'm gonna rub this whole thing down with oil uh, and let that kind of preserve it a little bit until I'm ready to either leave it like it is or move on to the next and paint it up. Uh, let's see how Tracy's doing with the mirror. Trace, how's that going? Well, he's not perfect, but um, the major pitting is going down. Oh yeah, that looks good. Um, so right now I started out at 36 sandpaper and now I'm on to 80. So I'm just gonna keep going um, and see how we do. And then hopefully, um, I, can't, I can't get this to move, but I'm gonna keep with the penetrating oil and see if um, that can break that up. And I'll try to use the wire wheel with the Dremel tool to clean out that, um, that I'm gonna call it a crack, to see if maybe loosening some of that will make it move a little bit better. All right, sounds good. All right, so uh, I think that's going to be it for today. This is going to be kind of a short video. Uh, next video, I'm hoping to move on to the wiring. And uh, let's see how Tyler's doing. He has the front of this all taken apart. And the fenders are all removed. He started cleaning it up. So that's coming along also. He's going to only be able to do this every once in a while because he works quite a bit now. Uh, but. So that's going to be it for today. Uh, I'll see you guys next weekend and have a great week. Just one more thing. Uh, I got an idea the other day what, um, along with deciding to go with the patina look. I want to try to make this look like an old work truck. So uh, what I was thinking of doing is taking my YouTube channel name and putting it on the side of the bed. Uh, it kind of goes along with uh, what they used to do with old work trucks, put the company name on the side. So I uh, used uh, Tracy's, um, she has like a printer that makes stickers and all different stencils and stuff like that. And so I decided to use that and cut out my YouTube name, channel name and make a stencil and I spray painted it on the side. Uh, so I was gonna use like a maroon color uh, and then what I was going to do is uh, kind of shadow the letters with black and then after it dries I'm going to go through and kind of distress it, make it look not so new uh, to go along with the, the look of the vehicle. But I thought it would be something just fun to throw on there if I just, when I decide to do or if I decide to do all the body work on it, uh, I can just sand that off if I decide I don't want it. 
but I figure it'd kind of go good with the patina look. I don't know, what do you guys think? Uh, give me your opinion if, if you don't mind. And uh, I, I think it looks halfway decent, but I don't know if it, it's too big or if it's gonna look not that great. But uh, all right, thanks guys.